Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Zach at ZRHS. Today I kind of wanted to go over, uh, we got a lot of people, I've got a lot of people that ask me what I play on, either Lee Chess or Chess.com. Those are the two, the two big ones, right? Um, and then there's a good reason for it because they're both very good at what they do. And people ask, you know, what, what's better, Lee Chess or Chess.com? What should I play on? What should I practice on? And there's pros and cons to both. I prefer, I think, I play both, honestly. Um, I think I prefer some things on Lee Chess and some things on Chess.com. I like parts of both, and there are different things that each one does better than the other. So I wanted to go ahead and go through each one with you, some of the pros and cons they have on both, and we will get into that now. So let's go ahead and make this full screen. All right, so... We'll start off with puzzles and tactics. So, Lee Chess's puzzles, we'll go to the puzzle dashboard, this is the main hub for all the puzzles they have. Uh, it's very simple and very based on seeing what you've done in the past and how you can improve. It's very based on improving yourself. So, if we look here, the past I can see the past 30 days, past 90 days, what I've done, 60 days, whatever, and I see my performance on that. I also can see how many I've solved, the percent I've solved, and to replay our ones that I've missed, I can actually click on that and retry them to try to better myself on the ones I've missed and try to get better at it. Here we have a nice little graph on where our strengths lie. So I do best on advanced pawn. I, I'm great at pawn end games. So my, my I'm about level, you know, 2175 there. Whereas sacrifice, I'm only maybe level uh 1985 is what I do there. Fork, not so great. 1904. Kingside attack, I'm great. 2200. And it, it grades you on these. Now, these aren't going to be necessarily grades you play in-game. Obviously, I'm not a 2200. I'm not, not a uh, 2168. Uh, but if you look at your lowest one, you know, 1904. I'm, I'm about 1930 at the moment, I think. So it, it'll give you a good range, a good gauge of where you should be in your in your uh, rapid games or classical games and it's nice it's nice visual to be able to see that also they have improvement areas so we can look at the ones we're not as great at and we it'll show us which ones we need to replay that we missed we can click on these to just go through opening tactics if we want and single that out to try to get it uh, burrowed into our brain and we can do the same thing with strengths, see what we're strong at, and we can keep going with these. If we missed any, we can, you know, I, I suggest doing a little bit of your strengths, but definitely focusing the majority of your puzzles on the improvement areas I, if you're going to do this. Normally, I suggest just doing straight up puzzles because then you don't know what the theme is. And if you don't know what the theme is, it focuses you to think, harder because if you know it's about a fork you're just going to be looking for a fork the whole time and it's super easy so they also have puzzle themes which we can just go through all the themes together which i've done on one of my other uh tactics tuesdays videos and show all the different kinds of mates you can do and if you try to focus on these specifically it'll kind of help you with each one just burn into your brain so you see it better when you're doing them in the uh in the mix and when you're doing playing it in a game also, we have puzzle history, where we can look at our most recent ones and see how we've done. We can go back and replay certain ones if we want to. And then from my games are ones that have actually come up in game, but uh, if you don't have one, I don't have one, then don't worry about it. So that's the Lee Chess version. So let's go ahead and look at chess puzzles on chess.com. So this is their main hub dashboard for chess puzzles here and we have we can just click on puzzles and go to regular puzzles and whatnot we can go to let's go back here open up this dashboard <clears throat> we can go to puzzle rush which is a race against the clock so you're trying to do puzzles really quick it's almost like uh training you for a blitz game or a board game which I don't think is that important, um, especially if you're gonna be not gonna be playing very much Blitz and Bullet. Puzzle Battle, rush against another player. Once again, you're trying to do it quick instead of thinking through the problem deeply. Um, I don't see how this is very beneficial for anyone as a player, 
but it is fun to do. And then a daily puzzle. Leech just has a daily puzzle too. I don't see a need for it, but it's a, it's a neat thing they have. You can just try to do the daily puzzle every day. And then you can do the same thing with custom, choosing different themes. Now, what I like here is that you, uh, unlike Leeches, can choose multiple themes instead of just one theme to try to throw you off. You know what I'm saying? So we can do back rank, battery, and bishop pair within the 1600 to 2200 range of score. And we can make it just puzzles I failed or all puzzles. And it's going to give us one of those three, and we don't know which. So we can make it a little bit of a mix for ourselves without making it everything you know so we still have to think about okay i don't know what this is i don't know if this is a four or a back rank a battery or a bishop pair um so we still have to think about it i mean it might narrow it down for us we can just pick our weaknesses so in that sense i do like chess.com's puzzles now the grading is a little different as well Lee Chess is a little more harsh grading than Chess.com is. Lee Chess, if you miss a step anywhere in the line of the puzzles, whether it's second move, third move, you lose points. You lose points altogether. Now, Chess.com, if you make three right moves and then miss the last move, it'll still give you a little points. So I feel like uh, Chess.com, it's easier to level yourself up in puzzle rating than it is Lee Chess. Lee Chess is a little more unforgiving. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad to you. That's just the way it is. So apart from that, chess.com has a learn section. Now, you they've got all these different ways to learn these lessons, and these are great, uh, except that you can only do one per day unless you pay for a subscription. And that's something I've never really liked. I do have a subscription. I've got one of the lower subscriptions, uh, gold. I don't have diamond anymore. And it uh, these are helpful, but I don't think they're they're worth the diamond program. There's there's for unlimited. It's definitely not. And some of these are are good, but Lee Chess does all this for free in their learn section. We can go to practice, and we've got all these checkmate patterns. Uh, knight and bishop mate, um, all these different things that we can practice here, kind of like uh, the learning, and it'll help you through it. This is also kind of like chess.com's drills. Now, the drills are a different story. These are very fun, great to practice, but there's not a ton of them. Uh, so if we go to the drills here, under puzzles, we see these drills and these are actually very helpful in my opinion so if we go to one say let's say attacking it'll put us in a situation where we're going to attack let's say with the french defense and we have two extra pawns and the fun thing about this the the nice thing about this learning is we've got this bar here the whole time we are going against the computer at maximum level 3200 so we are not going against any 1500 level engine, this is going to be the max, which means that we need to be on our A game in this drill. Uh, it gives us an advantage and we need to make something out of it. So let's say I made something dumb here like that. It's going to tell me how I did on that move. <clears throat> That's loading. Let's have a little bit of trouble here. So A4, it tells me it was a mistake and that bishop b5 check was best. So it was telling me instead I should have played bishop b5, and uh, I made a mistake. So I can keep playing with this mistake I made, or I can hit back and try again here. Because it's not about winning and losing here, it's just about learning. It's about what we can learn from the engine, and uh, it gives us good scenarios here to play out and try to, try to learn better. So, you know, let's say, 95 here <clears throat> and we can see the bar dropped and that was definitely an inaccuracy e4 was best and so this is very helpful for us to be able to see different ways of playing and see uh holes in our game and what we could do about it leech has does not have anything like that at the moment um although that would be great if they did have something like that <clears throat> they both have one uh the leech calls it coordinates um, I believe they call it vision, 
Um, and it's just going to tell you, it's, it's blind chess training, you know, it's going to try to, you, e4, it's going to make you want to, uh, b5, g2, you see what I'm saying? It's trying to condition you for picking squares, um, off the board, so you have a better understanding of where square is at, uh, off the top of your head. And I don't, I don't see, I mean, it's good to know. You'll know more by playing it, but um, in general, I don't see a huge need to be studying that very hard. There are better uses of your time when it comes to playing chess. Um, other than that, eChess has this, this section for coaches, which is pretty cool. You can choose coach if you want online and, uh, and connect with them, but obviously they do cost. It's just a good way to get you in touch with them. And other than that, they have one that's a chess basics that helps people who are, if you're just starting out playing chess, it'll help you to learn how the game's played, uh, maybe how to do some fundamentals, how the pieces move. And then you can join teams just like chess.com, both the same way. The analysis and is, is really good on both of them. Chess.com has a uh, game report that I really like. It kind of goes into the game. It shows you uh, move by move, or I'm sorry, key move, key moment by key moment, what went wrong or what went right. LeeChess.org, uh, you can use the engine. And it'll run a diagnostic for you. And then from there, you're pretty much doing it all yourself, which is better for you anyway. But Chess.com's game report is the lazy way to do... Uh, a decent analysis and then lastly chess.com if you go to your profile has this thing here called chess In insights analytics and chess.com has nothing like this nobody else online that i found has anything like this talks about how your game is and there's all these different statistics i have another video that you should check out at the top uh to to see how to use this and how to make make the most of this um so that's about the difference the biggest difference between the two is that chess.com wants you to pay for a bunch of stuff that you can get on leechess.com for free certain things like we've talked chess.com does better hands down but uh in the long run i prefer to do most of my things on leechess chess.com i prefer mainly to do my daily chess uh, if you're playing, if you're playing daily correspondence, because it's it's a lot smoother on your phone than Lee Chess is. If you're going to be playing this on your phone, actually, a lot of what Chess.com does is smoother on your phone. Come to think of it, than Lee Chess is. So pick what you want, play around with both, and see what you like. But that's my take on it. Um, let me guys, let me get know what you guys think. Let me know which which side you are. Chess.com, Lee Chess. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and uh, I will see you next time next week. Thanks.